So I was sitting here working on making a video about relationships, answering a question that was um, that said, uh, how do you get a relationship to continually work? And I was going to read my post that I wrote about relationships being an engine and the pistons uh, and all that kind of stuff. And you know what? I'm so tired and I'm just therapied out. Uh, so fuck that. I'm not going to talk about relationships. Let's talk about something else. I don't know what to talk about. Um, I just went to McDonald's to get some really cheap coffee, which I rarely do. And uh, I was sold on their advertising of Chicken McNuggets, and I had four. Why don't we talk about Chicken McNuggets? When I was 10, Chicken McNuggets changed everything. They first came out, and um, they, were in a, <laughs> they were in a little box, and they had cute packaging. And uh, I remember uh, my friend, my neighborhood friend Casey, got the first order of chicken nuggets I've ever seen in my life. And I was so jealous and I wanted them so bad, uh, he would not share. They came in with their own sauces and, and this was a, a big deal because there was never uh, any sauce packets in fast food. It was always just ketchup. And so to have hot mustard and sweet and sour uh, was pretty amazing. So I think tonight, me uh, getting chicken nuggets was a way to relive my childhood. Uh, what else do you want to talk about? Uh, I don't know what else I want to talk about. You know what? I think that's it. That's my video. Why do we need a point? Why can't the point be the process, the experience? I think that we are always trying to prove something. When you're trying to prove something, it, it doesn't allow you to live in the moment. And by me sitting here and just having nothing, no intent other than just to be me and ramble and talk about chicken meat nuggets, uh, something is happening. On the surface, the content is fast food and rambling. Um, but what's happening underneath is I am creating a space, and the space that I'm creating, the energy I'm putting out there, is one that is building trust. And the reason why it's building trust is because I'm not maneuvering with the veneer. I'm just being me. This is who I am. It's in this space, then you actually get to enjoy the experience of the human connection as opposed to me trying to sell you something or prove a point or you know shove something down your throat right so what if we did more of that what if we uh, tried to prove less and more of just be us what would happen I think most of us live very processed I think that most of us are chicken McNuggets <laughs> and what I mean by that is uh, the reason why chicken McNuggets are so successful is because they've got it's packaged well you know, it's the, the uh, bright colors and the fancy sauces. You know, but it's not even chicken. It's chicken parts, right? The, the, uh, the product is not good. It's the packaging. What if we were more about the product and less about the packaging? What would that look like? That would look like us just being us with no intent, no process, no script. We would not judge. Instead, we would experience. And I think it's in this mindset that we are able to truly be ourselves and unlock uh, our core. You know, and by doing that, we are giving. Uh, if not, if we are seeking approval and we are caring what other people think of us and wanting validation, we are instead we are taking because we want something from them. So uh, when your dial is turned on taking, you are locking yourself up. When your dial is turned on giving, you are opening yourself up, right? So it's only when you are in this giving no veneer truest form space that you have the ability to have a kind of pure connection with someone else and if that other person is also doing the same then that is what healthy looks like that is what human connection life relationships are all about that's my point that's my point i know i said i didn't have a point but i do have a point i always have a point and if i didn't have a point then you guys would have a point and wouldn't be living in the moment.